This short video is going to help you set meaningful rewards so you don't feel like you're fighting a losing battle when you're setting targets with your team. If you stay until the end of the video, you can get the link to the free 30 minutes 4 step solution to a more productive workforce video, which has got interactive quizzes and an accompanying workbook. This is going to help you take what I'm sharing with you today and effectively implement it in your workplace. Now, Firstly, it's really important to understand why rewards are necessary. Without rewards, there is no incentive for your team to achieve. Why would anyone put more effort in or work even harder if they're still getting paid the same amount of money or still working at the same level? I know that I wouldn't. Now, rewards act as an external motivator to help give your team that extra little push and go for that goal you've set them. Now, be really careful. There's a lot of evidence which shows by giving generic rewards, you can actually make your team feel undervalued and end up demotivating them. Most people who offer rewards just offer a monetary incentive, but what if I'm not interested in money? Yeah, okay, on the surface that seems ridiculous, but just take a second to really think about what gets you going. What if I instead said to you, you can have a bonus or you can have an extra day off every fortnight for the next three months? That works out about a week off. I know which one I'd take. What's more, the extra time would actually probably cost less than the bonus in the first place and that person's going to come back more refreshed and productive because they've had more time to relax. Now, I'm not saying you should just automatically give everybody an extra day off. The reward needs to be fit for the individual. Some people might actually want that money. Now if they do want the money, you need to find out what it's for so it's not so abstract. For example, if somebody wants money to do up the kitchen, then get them to get a picture of that kitchen. Get them to show it you, get them to keep it on their desk and don't ask them how they're doing against their target. Ask them how close they are to getting their kitchen. And how do you think you'd motivate the person you want the extra day off? Exactly, you find out why they want the day off and use that as the motivator when you're talking to them. Now the reason setting individual rewards is important because you need your employees to internalise it. This increases their motivation and increased motivation has a positive impact on performance. Do you see how easy it can be? All you need to do is shuffle some words around and make sure that you're setting targets and rewards that fit that person. Now what if you don't have a good relationship with your employees and you can't go and ask them what it is they like, what it is they want to do? Well, that's where the four steps come in. And if you would like to go and check out our free 30 minute video, the website should be up on the screen. Now, make sure before you head off there, don't rush, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you can keep up to date with everything we're going on. And if you found this video useful, just pop us a comment to let us know and let other people know. And if you want to ask us a question, you can do that in the box below as well. And we will get back to you as soon as we can. So I look forward to working with you soon.